Three days and $800 million later, Modern Warfare 2 is the greatest selling Call of Duty of all time. But was this due to it being a masterpiece or was it set up for success? Well, let's go back in time when the leakers would first mention the name Modern Warfare 2. On social media sites like Twitter, readers' ears pricked at the name, giving them a cosy, nostalgia feeling of their childhoods back in 2009. It'll be over the next few months and more information would come out about Modern Warfare 2 until eventually on the 3rd of February 2022, we would get the first tweet, the first official tweet, which said, a new generation of Call of Duty is coming soon. Stay frosted. From this point on, the Call of Duty community was set. Modern Warfare 2 would be a new age for Call of Duty with nothing to stop them. As more information came from Infinity Ward, Activision, and the other studios, such as the use of the Ricochet anti-cheat, the sequel to Modern Warfare 19 is the story, the return of Ghost, Price, Gaz, and other many more love operators. It was then on the 8th of June 2022 when the official reveal trailer would drop to the public, along with teasers containing our favourite COD YouTube such as Tim the Tatman, along with the official actors of the operators, which was really cool to see. Now, almost five months later, as of when I'm recording this video, it's about to become the fifth most viewed Call of Duty trailer at 32 million views, which is insane, and it will probably go on to break more records in the very near future. From here, the hype began to build. Google searches across the world streamed in as the launch date neared and got closer, and yet none of us knew whether the game would be good or not. It's at this point when I ask the question to you, was this game set up for success just based off its name and all of this hype, or was it really a masterpiece from the beginning? Despite being told about the return of features such as skill-based matchmaking, a lack of ninja as a perk with dead silence instead as our field upgrade, and the lack of red dots on the minimap when you'd shoot an unsuppressed weapon, by renowned leakers so we knew it was going to be true, the community was still excited just due to the positive leaks about the more OG movement system, OG maps returning, and just a more simple 6v6 kind of map experience. But it was only when we really learned about the early release of the campaign on the 20th of October, and all of the beta dates when the PlayStation and then the public could play the multiplayer early when you can see on this graph here that the hype really began to pick up with the search volume significantly increasing especially near to the beta date. After the beta the players made their first opinions stating their interest for the pretty funky uh, UI which happens to be made by a Hulu X employee it kind of looks like a streaming service as well as the annoyance for not having ninja as a perk and then the red dots on the minimap. Now this was actually surprisingly uh, responded to by Infinity Ward prior to the open beta in which they basically told us that we're wrong for our opinion specifically we do not want to punish players for firing their weapons, and we believe it is important to game health that rushes are not able to move at high speeds without consequence. But despite this, the overall player sentiment remained high. Pre-orders continued to roll in, and to be fair, I did enjoy the beta a lot. It was a nice change from Warzone, and it felt fresh. It felt good. Now, moving on a few weeks for the 20th of October, campaign would launch for the people who pre-ordered it, such as myself. Now, I played this, finishing it the night after it launched, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was really gripped. For the majority of the campaign, I thought that the characters were really well developed. You know, there was lots of variety in gameplay, and I thought it was good. However, the ending few missions were quite rushed, but I do suspect these will be expanded on in the rumoured second year DLC for the campaign, so I'm not going to kind of call out any names for that. Now, fast forward to the release. Eight days later, the 28th of October, sales rushed in, and after seeing all of the early access players getting in their game time, people would keep ordering it. This is when, only three days later, on the 31st of October, we would learn that Modern Warfare 2 had sold $800 million worth of copies, the most of all time by day three of the release. This would flabbergast Twitter especially, as they don't really cope with positive things things, but it was very impressive. But as it says in the title, was this due to the name itself or was it actually such a good game that everyone wanted to buy it? Well, we would see as the first week played out and people complained about the UI, which still hadn't changed, the lack of barracks and more major things that they're meant to kind of be with a Call of Duty title, they're fairly standard. However, many expressed their love for the return of a more kind of original movement system so it wasn't too complicated and more simplistic camo challenges, making it kind of more easy to do as opposed to the last few years of complicated leveling and awful challenges pretty much. Now, personally, I have enjoyed the game so far, and despite a few minor bugs, it's been pretty smooth sailing for me, I'm not going to lie, so it's understandable why it's sold so well, and I suspect over the Christmas period, we're going to see these sales pick up even more. But overall, Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion, would always sell well. I think not only due to its name, but also due to the fact it was a sequel to Modern Warfare 19, which was one of the most popular Call of Duty titles of all time, despite being a controversial title, which you can learn more about here. After building up all of the hype over the end of 2021, and then all of the long 2020 2, the game would launch with a hype ready to go for both multiplayer and also DMZ and Warzone, which are soon to come. But how have you found the game? Was this the best-selling release for you, or is it just another Call of Duty title? Whatever you or I think about it, however, these sales don't lie, and these next two years are going to be very interesting ones.